After three seasons, Generation Q has been cancelled by Showtime. The announcement follows the network's recent termination of other well like shows due to its merger with Paramount Plus later this year, which was first reported by Deadline. Fortunately, there are plans to continue the l -word franchise. The Showtime series The l -word Generation Q has been cancelled two months after season 3 ended. The show will not return for a fourth season. The choice was made as part of Chris McCarthy's, the new CEO of Showtime and Paramount Media Networks, who took over for outgoing CEO David Nevins in October. Examination of the network schedule in light of its upcoming integration with streaming service Paramount+. Plus. However, there is still hope for the l -word brand, because Showtime is now developing a revival of the original series. McCarthy revealed the l -word New York in December at the same time as the rebirth of Yellow Jackets. The title is simply a drought to make the biggest hits possible and turn them into hit franchises, as we have done very successfully across the company. Our plan is to lean into Showtime's strengths and focus on three key areas that have defined the brand. Complex and subversive anti-heroes like Dexter and Yellow Jackets, powerful high-stakes worlds like Homeland and Billions, and unconventional cultural takes like the l -word and the G. McCarthy at the time said, even though the relaunch has not been discussed since this announcement, it is thought that Aline Jagan, the woman behind the original 2004 series, is still working on it, along with the ongoing production of Billions and Dexter. Other projects in development include Fellow Travelers and The G. The Elvers, several other Showtime programs were not renewed, and Generation Q was terminated. No Showtime shows have received renewals since the two companies' merger was revealed in January. Before they were recently cancelled, Let the Right One In and American Gigolo had one television season. As a result, new shows Three Women and Ripley had to find new homes as Star and Netflix respectively. There's currently only one show left on Showtime, a comedy series called I Love That For You, which stars Vanessa Bear as a childhood cancer survivor, chasing her dream of becoming a television host. Its odds of being renewed are currently uncertain. There have been rumors that several popular programs may have a chance to be renewed and there is an inside push for their renewal. Several series and spin-offs have been produced since the 2004 launch of the Elvert franchise. Following the lives of a close-knit community of lesbian women living in Los Angeles, the original drama romance aired till 2009. Ten years after the original series ended, the Elvert Generation Q debuted on television, continuing to follow the same group as they interacted with younger women and shared their stories.